We are PK, and you're watching Front Row Live. Hey guys, Rob here with Front Row Live Entertainment. I'm hanging out here at the LA River with the guys from PK. How are you guys doing today? You guys have had a busy day already, and it's, it's still kind of early in the day, right? Right, it's just past noon, and we've already done more work than we usually do in a week. <laughs> so for starters, PK, what what is PK? PK is, well, actually, I should, I'm not the best one to explain this. <laughs> PK is our band and it's a name um, usually we make up stuff and it comes out usually not so good or offends people so it's just how it originally started was a book called The Power of One when we were younger we all used to play music together didn't have a name and it's a character in the book who's a boxer he like grows up ends up he like got bullied as a kid and he ends up being like a awesome boxer and just beats the crap out of everybody so we just use it as our name and then it just kind of stuck as we kept playing music and we're now just PK and no one knows what it means and it's always a good conversation starter so does, does it ever change like the definition yeah usually we're giving you like <laughs> yeah, the usually. real answer but usually we just make stuff up and tell people like whatever we want them to hear nice purple kool-aid was one that I liked <laughs> I like, we got, we I got potato like potato knuckle today was one of them <laughs> so. She so, saw my hand. When, when reading about you guys, I, I saw a lot of people comparing you guys to like bands like The Cure and U2. Um, and I actually, you know, Travis, your voice kind of reminds me of a little bit of Robert. So, um, what did you guys grow up uh, listening to? You know, it's funny, we always get compared to a lot of those types of bands, uh, specifically U2 and The Cure, but I think most of us grew up listening to kind of varied stuff. I think we grew up a lot more punk. Um, and then. I think later on after people start, I know we all, Michael listened to a lot of The Cure. I listened to a bit as well, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like my number one. I, I was like, saves the day, street dogs. Crazy. Did, did, it, did it take any influence in, in, you know, in writing your music? Well, I guess our music has kind of changed as we've played. Um, but no, I think it's just, that's just what my voice is. You know, it's like, it just comes out like that. That's crazy. So what, what, is, a, what is a show like for you guys? Uh, we're, I think that's like one of our, our main uh, remnants of, you know, listening, growing up, going to punk shows mm -hmm. is we're all about our live performance and being energetic and being involved with the crowd. There's so many bands now that play and they, they don't interact at all. You know, they just stand there and, and try to look cool. And it's like, we want to get in your face and get sweaty and have a good time. Yeah. And I, I was also reading you guys, uh, you guys don't like being considered indie. So what would you guys consider your, your, your genre of music? I, we're just an American rock band. That's, I mean, that's... American rock band. Yeah. <laughs> that says it all. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, uh, like, what, what, two weeks ago you guys dropped uh, your new EP, yep. The Lost Boys uh, Sessions, right? Tell me a little bit about the EP. Uh, EP is our, our first, like, kind of real group of release of songs that we put out since our last album. And um, we just kind of wanted to get different with it, just write better songs that made more sense to us and that we liked playing more. And it's kind of what it came out as. There's a lot of... I guess it's poppier in a lot of ways, but at the same time, it's a little more scrappy and looser and not as produced in certain ways. So, I don't know. It's just a, our new group of songs that we're putting out. We're kind of not really thinking about it, just trying to put out as much music as possible. So we're going to do this, hopefully another EP in the fall, and just keep putting out more music. And where did you guys go and uh, record this EP? We kind of did it all over the place. So we did a few in a studio down here in Sunland, a few at a studio up in the Bay Area called Castle Ultimate, and then... A song at Red Bull Studios down here too. Okay, and then you guys have been promoting Sea Wolves and London, right? So uh, Sea Wolves, I mean, I'm sorry, London is uh, the current single at the moment. Yes. Tell us a little bit about London. Kind of just a, a bouncy, fun pop song, I guess. Um, it's about um, meeting a girl in a train, I guess. Uh, while while shooting that acoustic video that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All came together. There's a song in the making, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have experienced a lot of, you guys have toured actually with a lot of big names, Aerosmith being one of them. Uh, what else is in the books for, uh, for the band? Um, we've been really fortunate, especially the last six months. Uh, we've been able to open on a string of shows for Angels and Airwaves. We opened for, what else? We, went to, we had Twin Atlantic from Red Bull Records. Uh, we went out to South by Southwest. We have some cool stuff coming up in the fall as well, so we'll see what what more is going to come. Will you guys be jumping on the other stuff after this tour? Are you guys taking a break in the meantime? We're writing a lot this summer. The goal is to kind of have a lot of material in fall. So this summer we'll be writing a lot of music. Yeah. Any plans on looking for a label maybe, or you guys want to keep it to yourselves? It's always, an, um, we're, it's always like an option, but we're definitely kind of thinking that we would like to have leverage if we, if we um, go to a label. 
you know, we've talked to different people, but we always feel kind of like we don't have the the grounding yet to be able to do that. Mm-hmm. And when when the time is right, well, yeah, definitely whoever can help us the most. I mean, you guys have already done a lot, you know, on your own. Right. So I don't think you guys are far from it. Yeah, it's, uh, that's kind of it's for right now. We're totally capable of doing everything we do, and we've had an, a lot of amazing opportunities on our on our own. So why do we need somebody else right now? Cool. And then uh, the acoustic you guys played was "Some Days." What what is that song about? Yeah, that song's called "It's Some Nights." And um, I'm sorry. Oh no, worries. <laughs> Expect you to remember. Um, I don't know. What would you say that? That's kind of like a more nostalgic feeling song to us a little bit. It's like simpler than a lot of ways of our other stuff. But as far as lyrically, I don't know. What would you say that's about? I, guess you're more likely. I don't know. I guess to me, it's kind of in a way. It's like as I was saying, nostalgic, kind of remembering times of like how things have been and how things are always changing, which is kind of like how it is. You know, people can always relate to that, and that's a little bit of that song. And um, we just uh, shot a new music video for that, which should be coming out um, within the summer, fall time too, before the new, the other EP and more touring comes around. So, How was the music video? What can we expect with that? It was, um, we shot it with actually the director who shot um, the last Angels and Airways video that just came out. Oh, nice. Will Eubanks is his name. And um, it's just kind of like a really cool looking, we shot it in this really old, almost like castle looking room Mm -hmm. with all these crazy Edison bulbs. And it's just really cool looking. It's pretty simple. Not a whole lot of stuff. Concentrated more on like a performance kind of a thing. And that's kind of what you'll see. Just really clean looking, cool video. And we would be looking for that for the summer? Yeah. Yeah, summer. Cool. And where can everybody catch you guys? Where can they purchase your, your EP? You can find us at facebook.com backslash we are PK, pkband.com also. And um, you can find all our music, merch, and everything like that, tour dates on either of those two places.